It's been raining every day for weeks. I almost wish it was snow. And today, everything is going wrong. Your text said one eighth, one eighth inch. Is that one eighth or one, one quarter? quarter. <laughs> But the weather won't stop us. Leo's in here, we've got all of our stuff, and we are going on an adventure. We are finishing this insulation and heading into the mountains. Oh, hello! hello. <laughs> it's so good to see you! I dare you dig a little deeper it makes you feel a little stronger Who knows what you may find You'll see in your own time It might just take a little longer It all goes by so slowly Ooh, you waited your whole life Your days turn into nights Now let the right. It's raining and cold, but what else is new around here? We have lots to do today and we have a very short amount of time to do it in because we have a deadline and we are leaving tomorrow and trying to get everything ready before we go. Wish us luck. You are on your way now Embrace all your weakness Therein lies the secret The water's never gonna drain out It all goes by so slowly Ooh, you waited your whole life Feels like in Central America, huh? I almost wish it was snow Yeah <sighs> I do prefer snow over rain any day. <laughs> muddy. Super muddy. It's beautiful if we weren't trying to build in it. I mean, the problem is right now we're trying to get this insulation done in the ceiling up here. And uh, with muddy boots, it's kind of making a mess in here. But also, because it's so cloudy, it's like dark up here. And we don't have any lights up here. We have one light circuit and the breaker is off, I guess, because it's not working. <laughs> and it only lights up the mechanical room. So now we're uh, trying to get all the insulation shoved into the rafters and insulate the ceiling completely. The problem is that this insulation is like press fit. As you can see here, those bats are press fit in. The uh, slots that don't have any bats, they're like just a little bit too big for it to press fit in or the spray foam on the edges has kind of like swelled up and made it so that the bats won't stick. So now we're gonna have to get like some hemp rope and like basically zigzag back and forth across the rafters and like cinch it down and staple it to hold all of these bats in permanently. And we don't have that today. So we're gonna do as much as we can and uh, we'll do that on a different day. <sighs> we got our work cut out for us. It's, it's cold, it's hot, it's sweaty, and uh, we hate insulation. I dare you dig a little deeper It makes you feel a little stronger Who knows what you may find Maybe you should go to Home Depot and get some hemp rope and uh, staples. I would love to get out of here. Oh, thank you. Oh! That's not fun. Yeah, it's miserable in here. <laughs> yeah. We're going to try and get as many of these bats in place as we can without tying them up, but while uh, Brandon and I are doing that, we're going to send Allie down to Home Depot to get some hemp rope. I've already got some staples, so we'll go ahead and get as much done as we can. And by the time she gets back, we'll be able to start stringing up the hemp rope and holding these loose ones in place. And hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be done with this and we won't have to insulate again for a very, very long time. Yeah, this is unreal. It's 40 degrees, it's pouring rain, It's pitch black outside, well, it's just pretty dark outside. <sighs> Feels like uh, it's right on the verge of turning into hail or snow. 
it's very cold and I'm very discouraged because we spent so much time this past week excavating, getting things ready, moving stuff around, and today there's just huge puddles everywhere. <sighs> we signed up for this. We love it here, we love our life, and we signed up for this and we're very grateful about it. But I would also love for it to stop raining just like for a couple days, you know? In the meantime, they have a lot of work to be doing upstairs. They're finishing up the insulation. I am stoked for any excuse to leave and go on an errand, grab some stuff from Home Depot. I guess that's the silver lining in my day today is a little bit of free time by myself, get some stuff done. Any moms out there know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, I just pulled up to Home Depot and I was thinking on the drive down here, like, you know, happiness is a habit. Trent and I talk about this all the time and it's something that you need to cultivate and constantly be working on because you can actually break a habit in three days, but it takes 30 days to form a habit. And happiness is a habit that you need to constantly be practicing basically. And so we, we're always talking about how like, um, it's a choice with how you react to the events in your life and the events of your day. And like this weather has been bogging us down and been so discouraging for us. I can't even begin to tell you, but we, we try not to complain or like get super overwhelmed by it because there's a silver lining to every single situation. But I was literally just about to like explain this all to you and talk about like, you know, finding joy and it's all about choosing happiness over choosing cynicism. Um, and I was setting up the camera and this is like a flexible tripod leg that I'm filming on a GoPro right now. And this is what the GoPro sits on and there's three legs. And this leg just fully broke off. 100% impossible to reconnect it. Like the plastic part broke. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's my own fault. Anyway, um, so I'm choosing happiness <laughs> and I'm choosing to find the silver lining in the situation where I can no longer set up the GoPro by itself and I have to handhold it everywhere I go from now on until I can find a new tripod. If that's the worst thing that happens today, that's a pretty good day. You have to admit, like, there is so much going on in the world and in other people's lives, and I'm trying to just constantly remember that it could always be worse. Things get frustrating, and everybody has bad days. Regardless of what is going on, everybody has bad days, and that's okay. You're allowed to have a bad day. Give yourself some grace. Like, cut yourself a break. I think we're all sometimes really hard on ourselves. Um, but during those bad days, I think it's also important to remember, like, this doesn't have to be the norm and you get to choose how you react. So have a little pity party and then turn the day around. I'm back home and the good news is it stopped raining. It's pretty chilly, but it's drying out for the most part, dry-ish. I got rope that he sent me out here for and I found an old tripod. So not all is lost. It's a little muddy, but other than that, I'm hoping that uh, they've at least made some progress today. Terrible. Hey, you got lights in here. Kinda. And there's no more rain. 
It was never raining in here. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. So Trent sent me to the store to pick up some rope to like strap across these bales. That's the insulation and keep them in place. Except he sent me a picture of coiled up rope and all coiled up rope looks exactly the same. And then you get to the aisle and there are a hundred different thicknesses and lengths of coiled up rope. And they all are coiled up the exact same way. So I had zero idea what to get. So I got three eighths inch, a hundred feet, two of them, <laughs> plenty. You're either gonna need to go get different staples or different rope. <laughs> the staples that we have won't work with that, it's too thick. I knew it. <laughs> What would you prefer, new staples or new rope? Uh, probably new rope. It's just one of those days, what can I say? The good news is you guys are making pretty quick work of this. The ceiling looks like 50, 75% done. Yeah, it's coming along pretty quick. Yeah. You'll for sure finish today if you can just have some rope. Yeah. All right. All right, good luck. See you in a bit. All right, have fun. Thank you. Here we go again. Maybe this is a sign from above that I shouldn't be breathing in insulation or being up there insulating with them and that I need to be doing other things. Or, I, or maybe I just really need some alone time. And this is like just a sign to savor that. I do definitely need some alone time. So I'm just turning back around, going right back to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, look at that hair. No, Cody's. Oh, I know. Yeah, what about that ponytail? He's off, embarrassing dude? me. Oh, <laughs> you gotta waste. Yeah, flip mine's, that hair. Mine's, more, mine's much more vibrant. Mine's more bang for your buck. He's just got more of it. <laughs> <laughs> I brushed mine today. Yeah. I typically don't, but I was like, you know what? I, I might see Trent today. <laughs> <laughs> Brush it out. See you Monday. Yeah. Bye, Cody. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Trent. This better work. better work, is that right? Yeah, it's only 50 feet. Are you joking right now? Well, yeah, that's... Your text said one eighth, one eighth inch. Is that one eighth or one, one quarter? quarter. <laughs> also, this isn't paracord. <laughs> it's smaller than what you need, it's fine. No, it's the stapers. Bigger. Quarter is bigger than eight. Oh, that's a quarter that you were. Um, you said 50 this feet. This will literally go across the building and back one time. We need to go across and back like six times. Okay, but you did say 50 feet. Yeah, that's which is the size exactly of what packages I Packages that they come in. Well, you never said they how come many. In 50 foot packages. If you had wanted more than a one 50 foot package, you would have texted me that. So I just got one 50 foot package. Well, you also got the wrong size. Give it to me. <laughs> Oh not going my back. God. What? Not going back. Well, well, can you make it work? No, we're just quitting for the day. We're going on an adventure tomorrow. So Brandon's going on vacation for like five days. We're going on a little adventure for a couple days. And uh, the adventure requires us to remove the bed cover off of the TRX. We'll explain a little bit more about that tomorrow. But we got almost all of the insulation in the ceiling. We got everything that we could without the paracord. And uh, we'll get paracord another day. We'll get it all stapled up in there. And then upstairs will be ready for drywall. Hopefully we get concrete soon. And then the additions will be ready for drywall. We're making progress. The best thing that I can think to mention right now is that that big rainstorm that just came through is the last rain on the forecast for like the next nine days. So that is absolutely amazing. We don't have any more rain on the forecast. So hopefully by the time we all get back from our adventures, it's gonna be nice and dry out here. We're gonna be able to get the machines, really start digging, get excavating, get to where we can start pouring some footings. And then hopefully by the time we're ready to pour some footings, our roofing will show up and we can start roofing the garage, but. Okay. Things are looking up, baby. The rain has stopped. <laughs> What's up guys and good morning. We are 
pretty much loaded up. Allie's coming back to the car or the truck right now with the last load of things. Leo's in here, we've got all of our stuff and we are going on an adventure. Can I just say yesterday was a complete fail? I should have gone to Home Depot three times. I only went twice. I didn't get the right stuff. These guys were insulating all day and just so grumpy about it. And you cannot blame them. It was not, and it poured, it was pouring rain. Today we're turning things around. <laughs> story that I heard of the burning bliss and I wait trying to appreciate and I wait trying to evaluate all right so we've been planning this trip for quite a little while and and uh, we've been here a couple times, even on the channel, but it has been like five years. It's been a wow. very long time since we've been here. So That's crazy. we are uh, just about to pull into Bozeman, Montana, which is a place that Allie lived for a little while. She's got quite a few friends here, and it's just like an awesome, amazing outdoor adventure zone. It's a really, really cool place. And we're actually here to get a new cool piece of adventure gear. And uh, we're gonna go get it installed here in about an hour. And uh, we're right on time. We've been in the car for almost six and a half hours. We've taken some stops. It's been a, a journey. And I must say, this drive used to be a walk in the park. I'd wake up early from Salt Lake or from Bozeman and I, I could go either direction. and. Uh, be excited when I got there and like full of energy and let me tell you traveling with even just one kid I'm sure it gets worse and well not worse and worse but like more and more complicated the more kids you have but this has been a journey let me tell you we are tired and we haven't even gotten there yet <laughs> but I do love coming back Bozeman has such a special place in my heart I'm so excited one of my best friends still lives here and we're gonna go meet up with her later as well and it's not raining, which is possibly the most exciting part don't so far. I know, don't wanna jinx it. Just because I've said that now, it's probably gonna start raining. <laughs> We're on our way to Go Fast Campers. GFC, it's like an industrial, like an agricultural company. Come in here for a combine and maybe a lawnmower. <laughs> Two completely different pieces of equipment. <laughs> we made it, Leo! Yay! Are you ready to get out now? <laughs> Hello. Alright, these guys just banged it out. They got the Go Fast Camper installed and it looks pretty freaking cool. It looks, it looks awesome. awesome. Cool. I'm really glad we went with black. There's like a bunch of different colors that you can get. There's like green and white and gold and gray and red. And I think this one will just always be classic. It's black. It looks amazing. I can't wait to show you guys like the cool features of this and like why it's so awesome. But uh, we're gonna go have some fun in it this weekend. Uh, pop this guy up. You just pull this little pin on the side out. Okay. And just give it a little push. Whoa. 
Well, Charlie here hooked us up. Everything looks amazing, and I'm so excited to test this out tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, guys. All right, I think we are packing things up. We just ran through like a big tutorial, basically. Charlie taught us how to open and close and maintain and all the fun stuff. And I think we're gonna head out and go into the woods. Let's go. Bye, thank you. <laughs> special about coming back to, oh, is that another GoFest camper? I don't know. <laughs> They're everywhere! It is a GoFest camper. <laughs> There's something really special about just coming back here for me, and I don't know if it's just because, you know, I lived here and it reminds me of a certain part of my life or phase in my life where I was right out of college, it was my first real job, I was actually in healthcare before I met Trent and like changed my whole life around. Um, and I was a clinical microbiologist at one of the laboratories here in Bozeman and loved it. I loved the people. I loved the outdoors. I fell in love with the mountains. Growing up on the East Coast, we didn't really have mountains and my family tried, but wasn't necessarily what I would call outdoorsy. No offense, mom and dad. Um, and so moving to Bozeman, Montana was a huge culture shock for me. And I fell in love with the West the way of life, the people, the pace, obviously, because I ended up in Utah, which is a very similar way of life. It's kind of just like nostalgic being back here and seeing all the landmarks and all the places that I love. And one of my very best friends, Amy, still lives here. And we are actually on our way to go see her right now. She's one of those people in life that it doesn't matter how much time passes because you just pick things up immediately right where you left off. And I'm very excited to go see her right now. I know! What are you talking yeah. about, you guys? Hello! Hello. It's so good to Mister. see you. It's been a while. I know! Good to see you. Where's the yeah, Trent? Leo! This is Amy! Oh my goodness! This is Amy! Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to come out? Do you want out? Do you want out? Yeah? Okay. Let's do it. Look at this big boy! Yay. Do you want your ma? Oh, mommy! High five. This is Sam. Sam. Are you shy? You are so shy. Are you, you are so <laughs> shy. <laughs> we helped Amy and Sam load up their cars and headed straight for the mountains, hoping to beat the sunset and set up camp before dark. We made it to camp. There's no one around. It's not sunset yet, but it's gonna be here soon. So we're gonna scramble and set things up, make a fire and start cooking some dinner. <sighs> but look at this. <sighs> I love it. I love it so much. <sighs> You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. Um, oh, this looks like an L.L. Bean commercial right here. This is cute. <laughs> you see my. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> is my hero and brought my favorite beer that is made in Montana and cannot be found anywhere else. I'm very excited. She knew her audience. She read the room well. <laughs> it's uh, not like fully set up, but it's, you know, we've got some stuff in here. We've got our Dometic fridge, we've got our container of all of our like 
pots and pans and coffee and all different types of stuff. We've got our Goal Zero Yeti over here. The coolest thing about this camper is that the floor is modular. So like, since the tent is stood up, I can stand up back here. I can actually take this whole section of the floor. Oh, wow. And it can like remove, and it can actually set up here on the section that's over the cab. That's where the other two pieces that make up this section of the floor are. Cool. So once you pull those two pieces in, it's a nice big giant bed up here. But when you take all those pieces out, you can actually stand up and you can change. You can go to the bathroom, you can cook. Speaking of food, the sun is setting and everyone is starving. It's actually 930, which is crazy. And it's still bright out, which is wild to me. Leo's bedtime was two and a half hours ago and he's just chilling. It's great. So I think we are going to start cooking some food before it gets fully dark and the hangar fully sets in. <laughs> Trent is in his cave over Hi. here. <laughs> this probably looks really weird, but... Cooking up a storm. It's convenient, and that's why we're doing it. Look at this fire. Dude, this is great. Look at your silly, silly headlight. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Very bright. <laughs> Just don't look at me. <laughs> It's like a cyborg. Me? Yeah. All right, we've done a horrible job of filming, but we did get the Go Fast Camper set up last night. We had a campfire, we made some food. We spent our first night in here, and uh, how was it, Allie? Great six. Well, I would call it a great success, except for the fact that it's hard to sleep anywhere with a toddler. But we made it. Yeah, it was a, a little bit of a struggle to get everybody up in there, uh, like with Leo and Allie and I, and get everyone to sleep. As soon as we all got into bed, Leo was like, it's time to play. Like, I'm wide awake. And we were like, it's freaking midnight. Like, <laughs> Leo, you should be asleep by now. But he was not asleep. And uh, by the time he got to sleep, then I was up tossing and turning. And we we're just like, you know, used to our own bed so it's a little bit different but i really do think that the go fast camper is a super legit setup because it has like the modular floor panels where you can be in the bed you can be standing up like you can do a lot of really cool things you can cook in the back it's and like all the sides open up it has like a big pass through i like it It's when you carve a piece of wood. It's when you I know, a but like piece of wood into a widow piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> it's so widow. Just making widow wood. <laughs> it's crazy. These are Amy's kids, Bennett and Rory. They're twins, and they're what ten? Which is insane because when I first met them, they were the same age that Leo is right now. Just as cool. Just as good of a whittler. Bennett, it's my turn. No, it's not. <laughs> but everything is broken down. I think we're heading out, heading back into town for uh, a little bit more hanging out with friends.
We spent the rest of the weekend reconnecting and relaxing with friends, savoring our time together and enjoying the change of scenery. Well guys, we just made it home after a long drive and a beautiful weekend with friends, a much needed break and change of scenery and there's no rain in the forecast. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like it's gonna be dry for at least the next couple weeks. So now we can really start diving into excavation. Now that we're back home, we are ready to get this build on the road. I know, it was so nice being able to see friends and I just encourage all of you, if you're having a bad day or things are not going your way, to just take a deep breath and remember that you get to choose your own happiness and uh, you can turn that day around. <laughs> Yeah, and I guess that's where we're gonna let you guys go on this video, but you guys enjoyed coming along on this video. Make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should I wanna get high Surprise.